In the fun and funky city of Venice Beach, California, sits one of the coolest bars in the entire Los Angeles area, the Townhouse. And when we say cool, we really mean it. Everything about this place oozes a class and elegance few bars can match. From the bartenders, the decor, the speakeasy downstairs, and the intensely artistic approach to craft cocktails. When Abbott Kinney, who built Venice, uh, laid out Windward Avenue, he designated how he wanted each lot to be developed. And he wanted this particular lot to be a saloon. And he sold the rights to it to a man named Cesar Minotti. Minotti created what at the time was called a buffet. It's essentially a bar with the slimmest amount of food to give him credibility, enough to make him known as anything but a bar. But then, Prohibition closed in on Minotti's operation. Minotti ran this as a saloon until 1920, when Prohibition went into effect. At that point, he moved his bar operation down here to where we are now in the old speakeasy. And he, upstairs, he simply laid out groceries. Minotti refused to let a little thing like the 18th Amendment stand in his way. He used a Venice Beach landmark, just a stone's throw from his Windward Avenue grocery store, and smuggled Canadian whiskey under the Abbott Kinney Pier through underground tunnels right to his speakeasy. As usual, the place became a neighborhood bar after Prohibition ended, and eventually it fell on hard times. By the time Frank took the bar over in 66, as he often always said, this was a very rough town. They used to call it uh, the, the, the slum by the sea, where the debris meets the sea. Come to Venice, where the debris meets the sea. But then Louis Ryan bought the place. He brought in designer Natalie Chapel. he nursed it back to health, and he found cocktail wizards like the bar manager Brandon to re-inject life into an already established American legend. Now, they are passionate about making the best period cocktails they possibly can, even down to the ice they use as they demonstrated. This was a first for us, and the only bar that cared this much to share their passion about ice, which in turn really speaks to their passion about drinks and ultimately the passion they have for their customers. We can spend two hours in the townhouse, its history and its legacy. We can spend just that much time on the downstairs speakeasy, its live entertainment, its decor and its drinks. The unfortunate part is that we really couldn't do enough. Ryan bought and restored such a classic American bar that a simple program like ours could just never do it justice. All we can do is beg area visitors to give it a chance. See Brandon or George order a cocktail, a real cocktail. Watch them put the time and effort into making it the best thing you've ever had, from the ice down to the glass. This is our favorite bar in the U.S. because of all of these factors. But shh, we're trying to be fair, so don't tell anyone.